Hi, welcome, bienvenidos. It's your girl, Yessi, and I'm back with another video. For today's video, I'm going to be playing with um, a collection, a new collection um, by Beauty Creations. Um, this is the collection with they did with Yvette EXO, which if you didn't know who she was, this is her right here. So I ended up buying her whole collection. Um, and she has a face palette. She has an eyeshadow palette. She has a setting spray. And she has a lip trio. So that's everything I'm going to be trying in today's look. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Alrighty, so today, like I said, I'm going to be playing with the collection that Beauty Creations did with Yvette EXO here on YouTube. Um, I'll link her channel down below. And um, I'm going to start with the eyes. So I'm going to show you her eyeshadow palette. Um, this is the outer packaging right here. This is Yvette right here. She looks so pretty. And it's a, it, the palette comes right out. And this is her palette called Eyes on Me right here. And it's like a faux leather. And then um, in the back, um, doesn't really have much. I think it just says Yvette EXO made me do it. Right here, and it says it's vegan. It has a 24 month shelf life, recyclable, uh, cruelty free. And this eyeshadow palette is called Eyes on Me Shadow Palette, right here. This is what it looks like. So it has a mirror, and it has Eva EXO, and these are the colors right here. So pretty. Um, so that's what we're going to be trying today. Now, so far I have, um, well, I did my eyebrows with nothing new. Um, I'm still using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the Dual Powder in the shade Ebony. And, and then I primed the lids with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And then I lightly set that with my Translucent Powder. So that's all I have going on on the eyes. And now I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow palette. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing, but I kind of, well, I kind of have an idea. Um, I've seen a lot of people do um, this, sh they'll put like a color on their, on their crease, but they'll go halfway and then they'll do like a liner. And there's this space right here where it's like, not empty, but you can add a shadow. I know it doesn't make any sense, but when you see me start doing it, you're going to be like, oh, okay, I know what she's talking about. <laughs> so let's just jump in. Okay, so I washed all my brushes and I'm using a new set of brushes. And um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to work out, but <laughs> we're going to give it a try. So first things first, I am going to grab the color Grateful which is this color right here. And I'm gonna apply that to my brow bone just so it gives me that, um, like that arch look. And it will also help me blend the colors on the crease. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a blending brush and I'm gonna be using these brushes um, from Amazon. Not sure of how uh, the brand is Bestope. Um, my boyfriend gave me these brushes for Christmas <laughs> um, and I never used them. So that's what, we're, that's what I'm gonna be doing today, using his brushes. <laughs> Alrighty, so I am going to go in with the color Yvette EXO and the color Everything Pink. 
So a mixture of these two, and I'm going to apply them to my crease, to this inner part of the crease right here. And I'm not gonna take it all the way in. I'm just gonna go from the inner corner all the way to the, well, to the middle. Right now, I'm just using that light pale pink, which is Yvette EXO, which is this one. And now I'm gonna go into this one, which is Everything Pink, with the same brush. All right, um, now I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna use this pencil brush. This is from Juvia's Place. Um, it looks something like this and I'm gonna go into the color love you guys which is this color right here and I'm gonna apply it to the crease oh it's very pigmented Now I'm going to grab that blending brush and I'm just going to grab a little bit of everything pink and just blend that out, just the top part. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some tape. I'm, I'm going to do this eye with you guys and then um, I'll do the rest. Um, on my own so I'm just gonna apply it to the outer part of my eye to the to the end of my brow like so you see that's how I want it like that and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab a liner brush an angled brush I should say and I'm going to grab the color love you guys which is this burgundy color and I'm gonna do a winged eyeliner with the brush so I'm just gonna start with this end part right here and I'm gonna do a wing I'm not gonna bring it too far in either So it should look something like that. Okay. Now I'm going to grab a, a small brush. Okay, so this is like a bullet brush. And I'm going to grab the color Everything Pink. This one right here. And I'm going to just apply that like above where we placed that color just to help, you know, diffuse it. just so we get that same gr gradient effect that we have going on on this inner part right here now I'm going to go back with my liner and trace that wing liner again So it should look something like that. Alrighty, so this is what that color looks like. Um, now I think I'm going to apply a shimmer. Um, and I think I'm going to go in with... Let me grab a shader brush. Grab this shader brush right here. And I almost want to use the color... Um, cute which is this color right here and apply that to this inner this space right here this blank space I don't see any pigment though I'm going to use the setting spray I don't like to wet my brushes but I'm just gonna wet a little bit 
And I'm going to go into the color um, Q, which is this color right here. And I want to see if it picks up better. It's definitely a little bit better, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that color. But I'm um, I have here the where are they? The Stila uh, what are they called? Glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows. I have the color Tulip Twinkle and Dollish. These colors right here. This is more pink one and this is more peach. I kinda wanna use this one. So I think I tried it one time. So I kind of want to try it again. <laughs> Alright, so let's see how this goes. I don't know if I should just apply it with the brush. Oh, that is pretty. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. That is very pretty. OMG. Okay, so I'm going to give this a second to dry because it's wet. And if I look up, it's going to start creasing. I don't want that. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to do this eye, do my fine, uh, apply my foundation, and then I'll come back so we can try the other products in the collection. So with that being said, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I'm back. I have the other eye complete. And I did my face. Um, I didn't do any cream bronzing or added a blush just because, she, you know, she has a face palette. And that's what I'm going to test out today. Um, and this is it right here is the Snatch Me face palette. That's her. Again, she looks so pretty. And it comes out like that from the unicart in. And same as the eyeshadow palette, it's like a fall leather. Um, Yvette, Yvette EXO times Beauty Creations. And then back here it says Yvette EXO made me do it. And this is the, it also has a mirror and it has a bronzer. Um, like a setting powder and then it has a highlighter and that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna be using today so I am going to grab sun kissed yeah I'm gonna grab sun kissed actually I'm gonna mix both of them um, now I I seen a couple of reviews saying that this is really pigmented so I'm just gonna tap my brush lightly like lightly and now I'm going to apply it. So it is pretty me it is pretty pigmented. Ooh -wee. Just going to grab a little bit, run it down the sides of my nose. And I usually get a, um, a smaller, a more precise brush, but because I just washed all my brushes, um, I feel like I don't know how to do makeup with these new brushes. <laughs> you know, I do get, uh, I am used to my brushes. <laughs> all right. Okay, so I think that looks very nice. Now, um, for blush, she doesn't have a blush, so I'm going to go in with one of my own. And I'm going to I'm gonna do a peachy one just because I want um, it to tie in nicely with my eye look. Okay. 
so that's the blush okay so now I'm gonna go into the palette right here and I'm going to apply um, the color um, I'm gonna do always classy which is this one right here I'm gonna apply that to my cheekbones that's that's blinding it looks almost metallic on the cheekbones alrighty so before I do anything else I am going to use her um, setting powder this is the stay pretty setting spray um, this is the unicarton here's a picture of her and this is her setting powder so I just feel like I have way too many powders on my face and I'm just gonna okay I'm gonna give it a second now I'm gonna go in with the um, sponge I used and I'm just gonna pat everything in that setting spray smells really good okay okay alrighty so now I'm going to go in with the lip trio that she came up with um, this is the 1991 lip trio right here so it came with um, a lip gloss, a lipstick, and a lip liner. So I'm going to use all three. I just hope it looks, it looks well with the look. It looks a little bit brown, but I'm going to use the lip liner. Now I'm going to go in with the lipstick, it reminds me of those MAC lipsticks. This is the color right here, it's like a nice pretty brown. And very creamy. Not sure that I like this lipstick color with the eye look, but it came with the collection and I'm going to use it. Next, I'm going to use the lip gloss right here. And I'm just going to apply a little bit. It smells like strawberries. <laughs> Alrighty, so now I'm going to apply my lashes and I'll be back. And I'm back. So this is the final look. Um, I did add uh, the light pink, which is called Yvette EXO, which is this one right here. I added that color to the inner corner. And yeah, this is the final look. What do you guys think? I mean, it's different. This look is very different for me. It's out of my comfort zone, but, you know, I like it. I like trying new things. So, yeah. I mean, you guys have to let me know down in the comments below. Like, what do you guys think of this look? <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, this is my first time actually trying anything from Beauty Creations. And their stuff is pretty pigmented. Um, the eyeshadow palette, I love the color story, of course. The pinks, and it, I mean, I haven't tried the browns, but, um, you know, I'll keep using the palette. The only disappointing shade was this one right here called I'm Cute. It has no pigment to it. Um, it was very, um, what's the word? It was very flaky, that color. It had no pigment to it. But the um, 
but the matte shades are perfection. They're, they're very pigmented. Um, and then for the Snatch Me Face Palette, these are also very pigmented. <laughs> the highlighters are blinding. Blinding. Um, I didn't try these two setting powders. Um, yeah, because I don't know. I just didn't try them. But but these, um, they're very pigmented as well. So if you get this palette, you have to go in with a light hand because if you go in with a lot, it can become very muddy real quick and we don't want that. <laughs> and then her setting spray. It's like a typical setting spray. It smells really nice and it's pink. It's cute. <laughs> um, I guess the true test is how, um, how long it makes my makeup last. So... I don't know. I guess I would have to try and, you know, try it out for an entire day or at least a work day to see how long it makes my makeup last. But I mean, you know, typical setting spray. It has a really nice spritzer and it smells really good too. Um, the Lip Trio, I like the color. I, I just don't like it with this look. Um, I feel like it's too brown for the look that I have going on in the eyes but this was very creamy the lip liner very creamy very pigmented um, the lipstick was well from what I tried it it was like a, a, a it's a matte color for sure but it wasn't drying it wasn't pulling on my lips and for those couple of seconds I guess it felt comfortable on the lips I don't know um, you know, if it dries up and, you know, if it starts accentuating your, you know, lip wrinkles, I have no idea. But, I mean, the color is nice. It's just not with this look. And the lip gloss feels good. It's not sticky. And I like it. I can see myself using, um, these. Well, I can see myself using everything. Um, yeah. No issues there. So, that's all for me today. Um, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I'll catch you on the next one.